Hello guys, how are you? Material video. So this method is for Android 12 that can't have access to internal storage or wipe anything to install a ROM. So let's get started. First of all, boot your phone into TWRP, go to wipe, format your data to wipe your internal storage and your ROM so that your internal won't be decrypted and you can write anything on it. So after you're done with that, go back, go to wipe, go to advanced and wipe your Dalvik data and cache. Just as you would on a normal installation. You will notice that everything has been wiped off your phone so your phone has been decrypted and you can write anything on it now. So let's go ahead and flash a new ROM. First of all open up your TWRP go to advanced section and there you will see an option called ADB side load. Do this after you have formatted everything now select both of these options and swipe to side load. Ignore the previous log they do not mean much. As you can see here our ADB side load feature is now active and let it stay like that connected to the computer. Now you go to your computer open up your platform tools and open up the CMD window as I told you in the previous videos. Go to the directory and click on the directory section type CMD and hit enter to open your fastboot slash ADB. So these are the files that you will be needing arrayOS, gapps and your regular DIY and DFE. Like you type fastboot devices you just have to type adb devices to check if your device is connected or not and it will show you with the same serial number as it would on your fastboot devices now when it is connected you have to type adb side load and first drop your rom file it's the same as fastboot you have to space in between type adb space side load space and drop your file then hit enter You can see the installation has been uh, started now and on my phone it will automatically start on your own and you don't have to do anything until it is done. So this is the same ROM that I showed you in the previous video. So you need gapps to boot your into your ROM because it has a bug where it won't boot without gapps. So I skipped the part where it was loading because it, it took several minutes to install. So as you can see here arrow has been installed on my device. Now let's flash gapps. For that you have to go again to TWRP, go to advanced and then go to side load and uh, take both and then swipe to open your ADB side load. You don't have to reboot into TWRP, just press home button then go to advanced so ADB side load and swipe to uh, initiate the ADB side load process. Here you have to type the same command ADB side load space drop your file and then hit enter to start the installation. Also this plain gapp has another bug with this particular build so you will have to see to the end of it to see how you can boot into the phone. Here you can see that the gapp one is started installing and it will take few minutes uh, at max 1 or 2 minutes. So while the zip is installing let's talk about this ROM for a minute. I could have gone with the official build of Arrow OS but I didn't because I use LYB and LYB's kernel are the best for Poco XP Pro so I think that his modification on this ROM might be the best for performance. So far I have seen the highest scores of benchmarks on this particular ROM with LYB candle. It has also got a fix for issues like low sounds and everything. So it's the best tool for me. You can see that the file is flashed here. So let's flash our dyn.dfe. It's the same you have to press the home button, go to your advance, then adb side load, take both of these options, then start the uh, adb side loading process. Here I open a new window to reduce the clutter on the screen. Now you can see I am typing the same adb side load command and dropping the file. So instead of clicking in the cmd window I accidentally clicked it when I was selecting the zip file so it opened in the 7 zip. Don't do that. Just click on the cmd uh, window and then click enter to in initiate the ROM process. DFE is a very light file about 1 or 2 KB so it doesn't take very long. In fact it takes less than 100 milliseconds to flash this file. Also it's raining very heavily here so the audio might not be up to the mark as I've been using in the past video, few videos. But I also had to put up this video so bear with me for this video. Now for the final step you have to go to your wipe, format data, type yes and then format your ROM. It will initiate a clean boot process as you would on a normal installation. So now here you can see that our arrow OS is booting and now I'll show you how to set it up. For the first few steps you just have to set it up as normal as you can skipping everything just set up it 
offline and don't try to connect it to a network because there's a security bug on this claimed yes also be sure to dis disable all of these options in your installation setup these do nothing but just rile up some services now here you have to just press pick any pattern and just skip it don't try to set it up it will just crash and you will be back to the setup menu and you will be doing it again and again and it will loop and loop so just skip it offline skip everything and just go to the arrow os directly so there you have it your arrow os now i will see you again in the next video till then take care and bye bye Continue.